Hey what's going on guys, we're back with the next part of our learning C Sharp tutorial series and today we're going to be uh we're gonna be fix a bug uh that I talked about in the last uh, episode concerning the level manager and we're also gonna go ahead and uh do a little bit of uh of our character programming, oh, just a tad bit. Nothing too major yet. Um so if we go ahead and you'll notice we have if I minimize this, you'll notice we have a We have uh, a public list of game objects called targets, um, and then private, so we don't need to concern ourselves with this. We have a targets list, we have an all characters list, and we have a wind float. But if we look in the uh, inspector to our level manager, we have the targets, we have the wind, but some of this I characters uh, did not get serialized. And uh, the reason for that is if we go ahead and go to definition, when we created this abstract class, we forgot to make sure it inherited from model behavior. And if we save that, we'll go ahead and let it recompile. And there you go. And now we can go ahead and serialize these guys. And let's go ahead and um, and now it's like it wants the I character. So before we can add our character to him, we have to actually make the I character class. And we're going to go ahead and um, instead of our characters folder, we'll go ahead and make a new code file. And we're going to call him generic character okay inheriting from our i character class and then we're going to have to go ahead and implement the abstract member which is on alert um, and what we want to do is uh, first what we'll do actually we'll also do um, Inside of our um, abstract class, we'll do a public bool is dead um, with a we don't need any accessories, so we'll just do that. Okay, and we'll default it to false. Okay, uh, and then instead of our alert function, we'll do if we're already alerted, return. We'll do a second alert check. We'll do if is dead, then return. So if we're dead, we don't want to be do this on alert function, okay? And then what we have to do is uh, not in here in our level manager. When we pass in our character dead event, we'll have to go ahead and um, uh, whereas in here where we actually did the alert, we'll add in some parentheses here because we're going to be need to put a little bit more complex uh, functionality here. We'll do uh, if um i dot or rather if character is equal to the c dot game object then we'll do c dot um is dead in fact here's what we're going to do um well, okay, we won't do it, but here, I'm going to talk about a concept here. Um, you'll notice we have a separate functionality for our character system than our damage zone system. Now, what we could have done is uh, have this I damageable class here where we have our do damage. Um, and then instead of in here where we do all this stuff here, we could ins instead of here have a callback to a reference to our generic character script where the generic character will not only handle the on alert but also the death functionality. Um, like in here and then this could just be some code like saying okay generic character dot do death um, and then this way we, we don't have a separate system for our damage and our character system um, but we're gonna keep it the same just to keep it simple so we'll do c dot is dead equals true and then in the same way we could also um, do some death events from here and instead we'll just do an else C dot alert. Okay, so this is basically saying if the character we just shot, we just killed, if he is, uh, we're just setting his dead value to true. Otherwise, all the other characters that are in the scene, we're gonna alert them, so they'll run away or hide or whatever. And then in here, um, what we'll do is we'll do a uh, we can have a public. Um, I don't want to get too complex, but 
an ideal way we could do this is put an enumeration, um, or not enumeration, an enum, where one for uh, a hiding method, a running method, or um, actually just those two. And we could probably use a boolean then if we wanted to. So we could either play some sort of hiding animation or running animation, something along those lines, or something totally. So for something totally separate, we'd have to create a new class. But in here, we're gonna make this. Um, we're gonna make him uh, play an animation because there's nowhere for him to really run. Um, it's really just um, him like docking onto the window that could work. So I'm gonna close out of this guy close out of this guy for now and I'll even close out of this guy um, and then let's pull up side by side this guy um, now we're gonna use some of the si some similar code here we're gonna copy this require component animation and what we'll do is we'll have a public um, we don't want, we won't call them death item and death sign but we're gonna make them um, our alert anim and our alert sound okay now we can go ahead and paste this in here Now, um, one other thing we'll have to do is we'll do uh, and check here to see if if this was our target player, um, then and he's no longer available to be hit, then we'll have to turn off or uh, play note or uh, send the level manager a notification that now the um, the guy's dead or uh, the guy is not dead, so he's he's hiding and the level is failed. Um, however, what I want to do is we'll do uh, an invoke, I think we've done this before, a waiting statement, we'll do invoke uh, we'll call it animation over and we'll wait the alert anim dot length okay and then in here we'll just do a uh, public void animation over Okay, and then here we'll do um, level manager dot instance dot uh, notify or not notify. We can just do a static one. Level manager dot notify. And we'll do notification dot um, this jot. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind is we this is simple this is like a one character thing but let's say a guy gets alerted there could be multiple reasons not just a missed shot it could be you took down the wrong guy or it could be um, it was the wrong order like this guy saw some other guy die but he was a target you just didn't get the chance to get him yet so um, there's other functionalities or uh, I guess that's the right word that we have to do here but for now we're just to we'll play this notification of missed shot uh, and you'll notice we don't have a, a handler for that we should get a message saying that we don't but if we go ahead and add our generic character um, so it is, does is false and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually pause the video see if I can whip up something real quick for these guys and then I'll be back alrighty so uh, here's I made this real quickly I got kinda lazy with him but here's our uh, our animation and actually you'll notice um, He's actually, uh, because that was the last frame that we left him in, he, that's what he looks like. He won't look like that in game, I'm pretty sure, because, well, actually, he might, he will, because we're not, we don't have an idle animation. Um, we'll go ahead and oh, there we go. Okay, so whatever frame we left off on, left off on, that is the frame where he will, uh, he will sit in actual game. And then let's go ahead and. I didn't actually make it a sound. This is where you would put things like uh, sirens or something like that. Um, but instead, we'll go ahead and drag that guy in there. Whoops! If I could. 
Okay. Um, now, uh, if I just miss... Oh, I forgot to, uh, whoops. Drag this guy onto our I character list. And that reminds me, um, <laughs> I just realized, we don't actually call the, uh, the level manager, um, alert system, unless we hit somebody, it just alerts everybody else. So what we'll do is, um, in here, uh, what we do are for each raycast hit and hits, uh, we'll go here. If uh, D does not equal null, we'll set um, well, okay, whether or not we hit anything, we're going to go ahead and uh, after this for each check, we'll do a level manager dot notify notification dot um, missed shot. All right, well, okay, here's what we'll do. Pri well, not print. We'll make a boolean uh, hit something and set it to false. Okay, and then in here, this is where we check to see if uh, one of our hits has a eye damageable. We'll do hit something equals true. And then in here, we'll do if uh, not hit something. So if we haven't hit something, then call that missed shot notification. And then inside here, we'll need to go ahead and make a case notification dot missed shot. And what we'll do is um, we're going to cut this. We'll make a new method. We'll go um, private static void alert characters well um, okay here's what we'll do um, now we'll do level manager i equals level manager dot instance and then where we have our character here this is where we're gonna have to uh, take in a game object character and we'll do if character um, does not equal null and that character does not equal uh, the c dot game object okay and then in here we can just go ahead and call that uh, alert characters and then in here, we'll go ahead and do the same thing with our alert characters. Uh, and we're going to have to pass in um, character. And then here we can just pass in null. Because there's no character that we hit, we can just pass in null. Um, if I don't think we've talked about null before, actually. Null is basically nothing. <laughs> That's the easiest way to explain it. An empty variable. Alrighty, so if we go ahead and miss whoops not didn't mean to hit that you'll notice the guy he hid so if I pause this um, it's kinda hard to see because of the way he animated but he turned the wrong way he actually did not um, get he did not die he turned sideways and hid under here and then also what, what we want to do before we end the video it's been kinda long and here we'll do um, alert characters and then uh, we'll do fail mission and then in here we'll do uh, win mission okay and then in here we'll just do a um, debug dot log for now failed and in here we'll do a debug dot log you win 
obviously later on we'll actually uh, make this do stuff, but for now that's what we'll do. So if we go ahead and test all this stuff out, if we win, um, dang it. Okay. Okay, that's if we lose. <laughs> You'll notice it says failed. That's if we win, you now see it says you win. So uh, in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and tackle something else.